So in doing problems like this, in doing problems like this, um, I want you guys to agree, I want you guys to think about something. We know that 2 pi is all the way around the circle, right? Yes? So 12 pi in terms of 6 is all the way around the circle, correct? So we know that this is going to be like a big angle. This is like going around the circle o over once. So what I can do is I can rewrite this to cosine of 12 pi over 6 plus 11 pi over 6. Would you guys agree with me? 12 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 is the same thing as 23 pi over 6. Yes? Right? However, 12 pi over 6 is just 2 pi. That's just, again, it's just a wrap around the circle once, right? But that's, that's, if you take that away, you're still going to have the same initial and terminal sides. Because all you're doing by adding 2 pi is just doing a, a revolution around the circle. So 23 pi over 6 has the same initial and terminal side as 11 pi over 6. 11 pi over 6 is within our unit circle, so it's much easier for us to evaluate. And I, um, I could put it to you guys again in this way. You could break your circle up into 6, correct? And you could do 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, or 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6. And then you could keep on counting to 23 if you wanted to. You could. But guys, if you get rid of the 12 pi over 6, now all we need to do is go to 11 pi. Well, if I know all the way around a circle is 12 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6 is just going to be how much, shor how, how much shorter? Pi over 6. So I can say the reference angle is pi over 6, right? Reference angle is pi over 6. Hi, and which quadrant, though, is this angle in? Fourth quadrant. What's negative in the fourth quadrant? Just the y coordinate. So cosine's still positive. Then I can use my reference angle at pi over 6 on the unit circle. What is the coordinate? Jamie, do you know the coordinate on pi over 6? OK, and cosine. 11 pi over 6 is the same thing as cosine of pi over 6, which is just the x coordinate. And is the x coordinate positive in my fourth quadrant? Yes. So the answer to this is square root of 3 over 2. And that's it. Done.